like that could be pretty impactful, personally. Seeing how they played so far alongside with um, Kembo and how they just really did good together, I think it's going to be really hard for them to match up with that, but I think they can do it if they have the right pair. You gotta have somebody that works good with each other. You gotta have two good, like Thresh and Varus. They work really well because they have to down, and Varus can hold, and that just, that's a massive impact. I think that if you mess up your, your synergy, then I don't think that they're gonna have a good chance whatsoever. Yeah, I agree. Um, as we get into things right away, Zoe ban, not too much of a surprise throw that against Kembo. Wouldn't be maybe surprised if a Cindric ban gets thrown in there as well, but you don't want to throw three mid lane bans at Kembo because then you're letting some other things go. Salamander man, very prominent tank player of the jungle. Uh, Sejuani, uh, Zach, and Swain ban, I think that hits CD end. Yeah, but it also stops Wally from playing it, so it's a, it's a great flex. Uh, Swain into top lane or mid lane, so it's a great way to mm -hmm. stop them from getting that. It's not bad. I, I I think if you're CDN here, I think you you want to ban the Riven. Just get I think get that out of the way. I'm not. I don't. I know that he's probably confident playing into it, but you don't want to even give him a chance. I think Zach is a good ban. Um, you, Salamander man just notorious for playing that. Camille ban. Yeah, because they know that CDN can play the Camille as well, so they don't want to make sure they want to make sure it's not a contested pit since they do get the first pick. Yeah, I agree with that 100. percent So let's see what their last ban is going to be here. I'm assuming that they're probably going to either try and ban another jungler or they might just ban. Uh, I think I think they either have to go for support. Syndra or Riven I, here. I really think they should play Ivor. No, we're not playing Ivor. Yeah, see, I, was, I see. There's a Riven. All right. I think so. it's Riven. Um, it was either that or or. Uh, Syndra, but uh, we haven't seen Kemba play too much Syndra as of recent. But um, of course, everyone knows Fat Booty German. He will pick that if it's even left up at all. Yeah. Um, I, I like that ban. I think those three bans are kind of what you have to do against a team like Bowser Ball Cleaners. And then the Warwick. Fortnite Kid has been playing so exceptional on that champion all day. I mean, it's been fun to watch him play, and you know, and finally he's gonna have to get on something else, see if they can uh, knock so him off onto something. Let's see what they're gonna first pick here. I mean, they could pick the Orn again. CDN did show that he had, was really proficient on playing that, so I mean, that is something that he can do. Um, the only problem is that then they. Yeah. Oh, all right, so we picked yes. the plan. He's, re he's ready for he's a one point in the top side, so. Uh, I like this booty, pick. He does have a, more of a proclivity to basically play Shen when both of those carries of Riven and Sher Camille are gone. Um, I and really see him Shen, Shen's not bad in the clay. Yeah. Honestly, um, clay, clay revolves around a lot of the, around those violent tendencies. And if you know the cooldown, the violent tendencies, then as Shen, then you can manipulate your your sword so that you can just negate damage every single time that's oh, up. I really pick up on edge yeah. really important. I think I think that's smart. Fortnite Kid has a very similar champion pool to Salamary Man. Of course, the exception of Zach, take that away. You hit Fortnite Kid again, and you keep bumping him down the ladder. So the thing with Kled is also the Kled versus Shen matchup is really weird because um, you can utilize your dash as Kled to try and um, avoid the block shield. And then once the block shield goes down, you go right back in. And look, they pick the Kale again for support. So oh, I don't even understand how it works. That's, that's ambitious. General Wally on the Azir. We Wally's he's been trying to play Azir and he's just doing he's doing pretty well. Wally's Azir is really something special. Um, if you saw the uh, the UF montage video at all, if you're ever aware, you ever done joined the UF Discord, you kind of know a little bit what I'm talking about. He's a very big playmaker on Azir. It's by far one of his best champions uh, alongside Velkaz, and of course he's going to pick with it. The Kaiser. Could be Kaisa mid, could be he's also playing that AD carry, and it could also be flex to the jungle. We really don't know. Well, no, sorry, it probably isn't flex to the jungle because so you have Sejuani, but it could be an AD carry or it could be a mid. We're not sure. Kembo is oh, like very ban. likely to bust out anything. Oh, nice. Fresh ban. Fresh ban for Grammy. Trying to put him on something uncomfortable. Maybe we see again the, the Tom Kench. Maybe try and force him onto the Tom Kench, but... Uh, Kaisa, right now, I know Zos has been spamming it to the Ban, so they're That's just gonna, at this point, I think it's really smart for them to just say, all right, so what do they have? They have mid lane, and they have top lane still open. So I think it's pretty smart for them to start picking off good mid laners and forcing uh, either Fat Booty or Kembo to play something. Well, not necessarily, they're not, yeah. All right, the Lissandra. That's smart. really good on Lissandra, so we're going to see what Zoso picks for, eight, for uh, yeah, he's going to pick mid lane or he's going to try and get Kembo a counter pick. I'm... 
I will say I'm a little bit confused by that by the Zaya ban against safe. He's definitely much more comfortable playing Tristana. Would rather pick that. It must be something based around the comp that they want to play. Is where the Zaya could throw a wrench into something. But oh, oh it is going to be a Kaisa mid. Wait. It is a Kaisa mid. Oh, oh wait a minute. This got real spicy all of a sudden. Well, like unless it's also a Sejuani top. I mean, it it could even be a Sejuani top and a Kaisa jungle K KO support. Oh my God. I'm just saying, there's a lot of flexing that could potentially happen. It's very unlikely, so but you can just pick your bot lane. I mean, you, you guys have the last two picks. So you want, tr you just want some comfortable if you're safe. You want your Tristana here. I really feel like and it. Kaylin's still yeah. Up, though, so. uh, yeah, yeah but it's by it. Tristana is by far his best champion, and and against a team like Bowser Ball Clean, where where you feel outmatched. Even though this is the finals, you want to just pick some comfy. You want to get those nerves out, and I think that's the best way to get your nerves out. So let's see what Grammy's gonna pick here. I mean, Thresh is banned. You could go back to the Tom Kench. Um, My only issue right now with their comps is they, they lack a lot of hard CC. Yes. I so really feel like they should get some like a Braum. He's not gonna pick. He's gonna pick the Rakan, but I really don't like the Rakan by itself. I think it's kind of weak oh, right now. Oh, there's a Shen. Is that a Shen, Shen top? Hopefully they pick something a little bit more spicy than Shen. Oh, the oh, wait. oh, oh. yeah. I do want to see the Teemo top play, oh. but I, I don't think it's. Gonna it could be a Kale top. Possibly. Um, I do think we're just going to go right uh, back to shit, yeah. so. so, again, I, uh, as you wait for this to shake down, we're going to see Shen top lane from Balser Ball Clean. Shen top, Sejuani in the jungle, Kaisa mid lane, and Jinx Kale bot lane, and for UF team 2, we see Kled top lane, Nunu in the jungle, uh, Azir mid lane, and Tristana Rakan bot lane. I actually just realized they actually picked in order. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to say I really am, I think that Balser Ball Clean is completely outdrafted. UF Team 2 here. I, th I think that, you know, we, we knew that it was probably going to be the Shen, top was going to be the very last thing, but, like, for Grammy, I mean, they, they completely countered what Grammy wanted to play. Taking away the Kaisa me meant that, like, oh, we don't actually have to show that we're going to ban you out safe, but then we're going to throw an extra ban in there, and we're just going to bump you down like that. Yeah. Um, and, and of course, what, what, what they did at Fortnite Cake, putting him on the Nunu, um, you know, to picking Sejuani away early, I, th I just feel like they got what they wanted, and maybe UF Team 2 is thinking... Man, I would have liked some a little bit better. And a big part of that for me is just seeing this Rakan pick by itself because it's it's not very very valued right now. Yeah, um, I think after the Rakan buffs though, he does a pretty hefty amount of damage. I mean, if he, they're probably gonna go coin, so the damage isn't gonna really do anything. But um, I think the Nunu can be a little bit more impactful than Sejuani because he can just rush the dragon at three or four minutes uh, if he plays it correctly. And depending on where he know, if he knows where Sejuani is, if Sejuani, and if, he's, if he's able to get Sejuani to start bot side, um, start start her bot side, and then go all the way to the top, he can start um, he can start top side, go take his red buff, and then go straight into dragon and I agree. Um, get an early dragon, which should be good. I don't know how this Kaisa Zir matchup goes because I mean it's really unorthodox. Also, a lot of eighty carries, dude. In, uh, I was gonna say. In font. I'm gonna say I I think that they're I think uh -huh. that. That's actually interesting. Um, I, I actually feel like AD carries in general do very well into scaling mages. Like, you know, when you see the, the Lucian mid, it yeah. counters a ton of meta mid lane picks, at least early. If you win early, you just snowball that game away, and that's how, and that's how the Kai'Sa pick can work. Like, Kai'Sa's early game is, like, really, really weak. Like, she has an okay mid laning phase as long as but the, have a... But, but, but the difference then lies in the jungle matchup. There's a lot of jungle mid synergy. Remember, Kembo likes to play a lot oh, wait, around oh, his oh, jungler. Wait, that's, mm, it's it, he gets a blood boil. Sure. That's However, the difference for me is that Sejuani can gank from over screen away and Nunu has to run at you. Yeah. Sejuani can Q flash over a wall and press R and you're gone to me. I think like, Nunu's you're done. Again, so. Se like, like, Nunu is great at invading and counter ganking. However, Sejuani's ability to gank is just really unparalleled. And her ability to, to control objectives with, with her E passive proc plus smite. Is just it's just about as good as new news. Maybe not quite as good, but you see the the thing is is like as a tank, as, if you're playing Sejuani, you're so focused on getting your levels. So um, if Nunu is able to get into the enemy jungle, counter jungle, Salamander Man is going to be basically bled dry for resources, and he's not going to be able to keep up in the game, and he's not going to have the levels that he needs to stay relevant as a tank. I'm I'm really interested to see how this two v two in the mid lane in general goes. I'm I'm just a little bit stuck for words about bot. I 
just feel like Rakan is going to get easily poked out and not have an easy way in into a double range matchup bot lane. Especially just with his current state. Yeah. I mean, I know you said he got buffed a little bit, but he just feels bad right now alone. And, you know, if he just goes in, uses that grand entrance, doesn't knock up the, either the Jigs or the Kale, he's about to get hard punished. Hard punished. I feel with Rakan and Tristana, I think that if they play passive enough, once they hit level 6, it's going to be really easy for them. Even with Kale ulting Jinx, I think because the way we saw Tristana and how he played her, that it's going to be very easy for them to kill her. Jinx. And just take then take Kale. I think it's, I think it's pretty meshed up. Well, we'll have to see the end game. Um, <coughs> Alright, excuse me. Um... We've seen Lasser Man play Kale and support now a few times. I asked him about what the point of it was, and he said um, to support was his answer. Mm. I, I, I still don't get it. I didn't quite watch him that closely. Um, however, we'll find out here. So yeah, get hyped. We're going into game one of the best of three here versus Ballister Ball Cleaners and UF Team 2. Remember, this is the finals winners. All of Gearland received 1,500 RP each, plus Triumphant Rise, plus the Mystery Icon, sponsored by Riot Games, of course. Thank you, our Godfather. Thank you for uh, blessing us with uh, such a, a good game, air quotes. Monka S. Dude, come on, man. So, all right, so we're going to see, we're actually all going bot. This could be possibly invade. They're <laughs> me up hanging fat booty. Oh. Fixing, Fixing Discord. Discord. For uh, so a little bit of communication errors. We've had a lot of those. Cambo's tilted right now. That's good. You know, that's a good start for your team too. You want to tilt Cambo, although we'll say when Cambo falls behind, he gets serious and it gets scary. <laughs> I do know that about him. He gets real focused. Um, a, a, a few of these memes aside, though, I mean, looking across the teams, you know, I said there wasn't a whole ton of hard CC with them with the recon pick. How does the Tristana stay safe? Yeah, I did. I think a lot of how this Tristana is going to stay safe is going to lie within her own kit, and then of course Wally's ability to use her uses are. But if Wally were to use uh, the Soldier Wall offensively, I think it really limits how much safe can do in the back line, and that's I think. The biggest fault right now with UF Team 2's comp and that I see, don't like. The Azir actually does see them all go into the jungle. Or at least they see Kale and Sejuani. So they get the early ward down. Looks like they're heading towards the red, but Fat Booty's going to get vision on them. So they're all, they're just going to start pinging that. You can see Lobster Man. And they're all actually going to go collapse on them here. They're bringing all five up and then start running. They are. Booty misses the E. Garbage. Yeah, I think they should have. I'm um, just kidding. I, I think do that. Fat Booty should have gone in from Tribush, like like walk all around and go through Tribush, and so that the rest of the team can actually pin through them. Um, I, don't, I just don't think they were that committed. Some yeah, man just yeah. wants a standard start here. That first blood gold that early doesn't mean a whole ton because then the drone falls by on experience. It doesn't get that leash. She'll still be level one, and it just feels really bad. I'm like a new new who can. So so. Yeah, they both got wards actually. They both got wards on the enemy uh, trying to get the second camp. So all right. So something like I had said the. Um, they actually have Vision. He's going to start W. Kemba's going to start W, and he's going to probably try and steal the blue away because he got Vision on the blue buff. So let's see if... Uh, oh, here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, no. Oh. Did he smite it? Yeah, he did. No, uh, he... A little bit unfortunate, so... Smart. I thought he ate it. Uh, he might have consumed it, yeah. But... All right, so, you know, standard lanes for right now. Uh, looks like Fat Booty's gonna get a little bit of a uh, engage here. But other than that, nothing too out of the ordinary. So actually, both junglers are gonna be on opposite sides of the map, which is gonna be important. We could see uh, Fortnite Kid could go in and try and get the early dragon. Good trade. From right at CDN is struggling to farm right now. He's missed three minions yeah, so far. Wait, no, he's literally lost all the minions. <laughs> this man. Oh, oh, oh save's going against him. He did it level yeah, two. They don't get the knockup on Zoso. Oh, they actually do force play, but they do force the exhaust though, so really uh, good. But on the other side of things, CDN takes a tough trade. 
I think so, Grammy was a little bit slow on that grand entrance there. Otherwise, it would have been great for him. There's a hitbox on that, so he actually is going to get the scroll back. Oh, for, get the, flash oh. off of Booty, nice juke. Bear trap on the rope just misses yeah. out. and Double flash now gone. Yeah. Uh, Nunu actually has Guardian, so we're not going to see the Predator this time. But um, Sejuani is top lane, is ready to show for a counter gank. Uh, Bless you. Thank you. Excuse me. Um, so, yeah, really even. Um, able to get the flash out of Fat Booty, but also no flash for CDN, and oh wait, there's actually a level differential here, so that's actually really good. Huge mini wave coming in for Fat Booty, so even if CDN wanted to trade, he'd be sitting in a, uh, a sea of minions, and it's probably not going to trade there, so. What's with you in water today? Puddle, pools, Dude, ocean, ocean, and sea. Ocean, ocean Drake, bro. Ocean Drake's best uh, best Drake. Oh, we're going to see an early dive here. They have to be ready for the Kled uh, dis uh, change here. Ooh, oh, nice change nice CC. That's really smart. Nice. Great, Great first job. blood. Goes oh. over to Fat Ooh, Booty. Does predict the flash, though. Gets the Ignite onto, the, onto Zoso. Is he going to go down? Gonna yes. Grammy's going to get it now. He's going to jump forward. Going to get the... Oh, nice. Both sums on... Uh, Ballister Ball Cleaner, their, ball, their bot lane has no sums, while safe. Still has both of his sums. So. I think that's a really good response on the boss side. You lose first blood on the top side, unfortunately, but you know, you, you just, you just can't bottom him immediately. And I think that's a really good turnout. Sure, you miss out on whatever extra gold it was. And sure, your con gets a kill, but you still trade it. And, and no matter what, safe gets a little bit of an advantage here. So, I'm really uh, excited that oh, what, mid lane Fortnite mid -lane kid running at him He's not great damage on the Fortnite kid oh, good job on the Kaisa so something really uh, unfortunate to watch is uh, or I guess really nice uh, something really fun to watch was as soon as they hit level 2 Grammy and Safe just immediately went in they knew that they had the power spike over the Jinx and uh, Kale so uh, I'm really I'm really I'm glad that they were able to recognize that and they were just like, alright, we're going to immediately go in and they pull the trigger on it. So, big, ball, big top wave coming in, so. I mean, oh, they're actually pinging for a dragon. Looks like they're going to try and go for an early dragon here. I think right now Wally is struggling a little bit, just down a, a little bit of CS. Um, he, I'm sure, sure he'll end up fine, but we're just waiting for this level 6. Once this Sejuani hits 6, how hard is Sejuani camp mid? Because Kembo's the one that takes a lot of the calls between between Salamander Man and the jungle and just him around mid lane. And that could be a point of attack just to get Kembo pretty ahead in this game. So something to notice actually is the, the bot lane differential right now. Not in CS but in items because um, Safe was actually able to get a pickaxe. He obviously he couldn't back because he didn't get the pill and he got the assist. But he got pickaxe instead of a coal. Oh, and he's actually a level up on CDN right now. So He's about booty. to get off the mount there, yeah. Oh, oh, but a nice engage nice on Bali is going to nice. knock up just Lobster Man. But the focus is on the Zoso. Nice. Jump forward by reset. Safe. Gets the reset. Great job here. And now we're and now we're just seeing the weakness of the kill support. The inability yeah, actually to, to actually support. And that's going to be two kills. Fortnite Kid's going to grab that one. Yeah, Seven Minute Man is bought. Nice. With, Grammy does use this W2. That's a great zoning grand entrance. And right now, Zoso is hella behind. And, you know, and we're talking about this actually during the pre-show. Can you tilt Zoso? If you gank his lane over and over successfully, can you actually tilt him? Because that's actually a legitimate strategy. Tilt is a real thing. Yeah, you got to tilt Zoso, and especially if it, he's probably been like, yeah, you know, the Kale's been fine or whatever, but now that he can uh, flame Lobster Man the entire time and get in his head and be like, all right, dude, this Kale pick actually is garbage. So, uh, oh, we're Ooh. actually going to see Ooh. the Shen come in with the nice Kembo using the nice. Kaisal. We're not kidding right now. Just trying to back out of this. It's going to be an Infernal Drake going over instead of Bowser Ball Cleaners. Just nice. give it up. They're able to say thank you guys for the leash, but we will be taking this Infernal Drake. So great job. They're actually able to, you know, maybe pull back a little bit. Um, only down 100 gold. So Kembo does pull ahead. Yeah. I do want to point out that, you know, still the Bowser Ball Cleaners bot lane did not get anything off that. It was all instead the other three members because the other two were still trying to get back on the map. And I think that's still a big point of attack where Safe and Grammy are still very far ahead of, of Zoso and Lobster Man right now. Yeah. Um, so to notice, like, it's really only the bot lane that's ahead. Like, mid lane is going even. Like, yeah, Kembo got a kill, but, I mean, for right now it's going a little bit even. Top lane right now, CDN is having a real hard time, especially today at least we've seen, He's on the Kled, he's missed a couple of pretty key... Uh, he's taking so yeah. much minion damage. Yeah, he's taking a lot of damage, not a very favorable trade. Now he has to wait until he gets Scarl. And 
At least he, I'm hoping that Fortnite Kid is telling him like, hey, Sejuani is probably going to be topside now. Being able to track the enemy jungle is so important for this. So, yeah. With that booty right now, he's probably going to try and um, freeze the wave right in front of his turret so that he can basically just freeze the wave and uh, CDN would have to just stand there. But freezing the wave is actually really difficult, especially when you have Bobby Cinder first item. So... Well, we'll say Kled actually has a very unique and weird ability to be able to unfreeze waves so easily. Not only is that key, you know, just a little bit of range enough, you can still see us a couple minions, but with hitting two dashes, you know, sure, maybe it's a little bit disrespect, you'd have to take a bad trade for it, but, you know, you can use your E, hit on top of the wave, especially now that he has the team at, easily then there's usually violent tendencies on top of the wave, and there's E back yeah, out, and make it safely bounce back out. Violent tendencies with, uh, oh, we're actually seeing the ult here. Going right back on top of Fat yeah. Booty. You see the Violent Tendencies do actually a ton of damage. Yeah. I don't think he's going to kill him, especially uh -oh. now Sun Man's back, man's back up here. And oh Sun my man gosh. He's actually have a lot of mana right now, though, so. And that's actually really smart. Burns the ult, too. ZDN really low. Flashes oh, out, but gosh. way too late. You got to do that earlier. I don't know if it was on cooldown, though. So, yeah, Violent Tendencies, as I was saying, Violent Tendencies with um, Team at on, like, a wave is really, really, like, good. If you're playing Clint, you just clear it instantly. But... I think in that he's just getting a little too, uh, gun, like, uh, not gun shy, but he's getting really, really trigger happy. He's like, all right, guys, like, he needs to be able to know where the jungler is. There's actually zero vision right now. Like, there's a lot of vision towards bot side, but it's going to be on, but it's actually on the side of, um, you have team two. Oh, oh, almost, you almost, 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 almost he, that was he, so yo, close. This is like solo queue where your top laner dies three times, like, early, and he's just like, yo, I need to get this kill. He, like, dies, he DPs in, he dies again. He didn't die, though. That time, yes, but he is 0-2 right now, and he has to, he's, he's not down so far in CS right now, so he, he will be getting a little bit back with the wave that's coming in, so. Yeah, so, I mean, the bot lane, the bot lane's like, he, he's actually a CS lead in there, and now that he has the call, and since he has the call, <coughs> he's able to, um, with the call and the call and deleted boots, hopefully he's able to dodge now Grammy's engage with the W. Maybe not if you flash W's or if you flash uses swiftness. Um, yeah, that's gonna be. Now that he has the boots and he has the. Um, oh, we're actually seeing a fight here, maybe. Yeah, right now they, they want to back up because they know Fat Booty has an ult and this can easily become a 4v5. There's no TP from CDN right now. No TP and not even an ult, so he can't even just walk mid lane and start ulting. There's no way he could stop even just the TP and even and just the shield enough. I mean, he could be good enough yeah, to turn the fight. Right now he's just continuously Jeez, taking bad nice. trades. Yeah. This is not very good, especially with the way that Shen has his, uh, his empowered auto attacks. Wait, CDN, you're actually trolling. Wait, so, oh. oh. Alright, so it looks like we're going to see a Shen solo carry this game. He's literally just going to run around <laughs> and just 1v9 like this, but I'm, I'm glad that Fat Booty's able to secure a lead when the rest of his team is not doing so well, especially in the bot side where they're 0-2 right now. Let me we'll say, Wally's actually been doing very well so far in this lane. Doesn't quite dodge out the second portion of the Sal Salamander Sal Man's uh, W. He gets stunned up, lads Kembo, easy, hit an easy W and he's going to be able to get out just fine. Double nice flash! flash. Nice. Actually, Fortnite Kid might be able to stop this. Yeah, and this is where everything's going to start Ooh, going out. Swiftness on. coming in, Ignite on the Salamander Man. Great can, job. Yeah, Grammy? but Grammy's oh, the gonna eight, go down no, here the, though. Save, the save from the club. Oh, Cleto coming in now. Going right on the I don't know about this. Possibly could go well. Oh, now but they're safe. Are you gonna be able to go down here? No, I don't think so. It's still safe. Bear trap on a rope, no. No. Looks Ooh. like CDN is gonna possibly go down here. He's waiting for the, the shotgun blast. <laughs> nice oh dodge from the Jinx Kembo. rocket. Kembo goes down so low, almost like, looks like 10 health right there. Look at Zoso, is just going to keep going. Hits him with the rocket. Oh, nice. nice one. Nice. Uses his zapper. I'm actually surprised that actually hit safe, the yeah. W, the zap. zap o -matic actually lands, and it does do great damage, giving Zoso the kill. So, it looks like it's a little bit more even, and now that well, Zoso, he has 20 CS over, and now he's able to get his kill, and... Yeah, and, and, and this is where Zoso can easily just pop right back into the game. All he had was Berserker Screech before, and now you can just really start to wreak havoc on this game, getting that one kill back. Um, you have a massive tank, Shen, uh, you know, sitting in front. Um, Sounder Man also very massive right now, a lot of assists and stuff, getting a lot of things down around the map. And we know Kemba's guys are already one item. Once he hits about two, three items, it's going to get really scary real quick. All right, so we're going to see the giving over of blue. Typical 
Um, Dragon's gonna be up soon. It's up now. Right it's now. another Infernal. Huh? I said it's right now. Yeah, the, the Infernal's actually up now, so let's see if they can get bot priority. We'll see. Uh, it's a double Infernal to start the game. That's rough. It's a great way to start off the first game of uh, the finals. Kembo taking a little bit of a trade there for the ward, but got the control ward in the end. Yeah, so you see Nunu, he's coming back into the lane. Fortnite Kid's coming back, he's in the bot side. Looks like a gank mid's gonna happen here. Lost him in build a Mejize, by the way. Oh, Wally actually back. has no, uh, Wally has no, oh, oh my god. Massive damage. Kembo with the good damage there. They knew that Wally didn't have any any summoners, so they said, alright, use your summoners, we'll be back in 20 seconds. We'll be back in 20, 30 seconds to kill you. And it's like that CDN taking another trade. Not quite going his oh, way, and Fortnite God. Kid's now getting invaded. Yeah, That's is, the red buff going now. This is now. to go really bad now, because now Nunu doesn't have any... Like, Nunu, you want to be able to farm. If you can't farm, like, what else are you going to do? You're playing Nunu, you can't really do much. Like, yeah, you have the red smite here, but... That's only gonna help you in a one v one versus uh, Salamander, which you haven't, we actually haven't seen you too much in their jungle. Or I think, their jungle. I think right now this Nunu needs to figure out a way to get safe even further ahead. Um, well, not, not necessarily now that safe is even ahead anymore, but that's just where he's been having success. And I think you just, you need to try to go back there at this point because things are starting to get really out of control now. Double Infernal Drake, eight kills to four. It's a four K gold advantage, which early in this game is really. Really, just tremendous. And your sled is so far behind now, being zero three and just constantly dying top lane. He needs a ganks. You don't really see Nunu going anywhere to help anybody. Nunu is so behind. Well, at uh, this point, though, the Kled's not going to do that much damage to the Shen anymore. Nunu doesn't offer necessarily a whole ton of damage, rather than a lot of slow potential and uh, and buffing up other allies. And that just for just the Kled alone, with what he's got, wouldn't be enough. Wally. Face checking, Salamander Man trying to chase ahead. He's gonna go in. He does miss the ult though. He's in the middle oh. of four people though. And Kemba, Great job. Kemba goes down. That's really good focus. And Seth's gonna, he's gonna jump right in. Double kill for Wally. And Seth's resetting. Can they get Fat Booty? Probably not. He's gonna keep trying. He's gonna hop off his mount here, I think. Yep. But that's still two for zero, and they're actually gonna push on mid. Yeah, Kemba, I don't think he was expecting for the entire team to show up there, so. Pretty, a little bit unfortunate there, but I understand what he's doing, especially with Wally missing the uh, Emperor's Divide there. Really big ultimate that he missed. Um, and with Sejuani all the way in the back there getting hold, held up by the Kled and the Nunu. It just happened to be unfortunate. They didn't have vision uh, and they didn't know where they were. They were. I don't think they were prepared for that. All right, so, and, and with that, you know, we're talking about how it was almost a 4K goal advantage. We're down to one and a half thousand, taking the mid lane turret. That's first turn of the game, and you have Team 2 has a real life, real side of life now. And again, um, it, and it, it's all coming around TP. I'm just going to hold my thought for now. I didn't there's like it. Trade, but now, there's a, now there's a huge mismatch. They're going to have to sack the top wave anyway. So the, the entire top turn is probably going to go down now that there's three people. And Tristana has to back, and now she has to walk all the way top. No, she's gonna go, she has to go mid, match the Kaisa while Wally sits top. And meanwhile, they're setting up a dive on no, the top I side. I, like the top, I didn't like the TP from CDN. He should have just backed and just walked right back into the lane. The turret was still full, relatively full. Now he's going to take another trade here. Because Fat Booty's just playing so aggressively now. How did you miss the point blank bear trap there? Just. I think he's a little, you, he's you, a little tilted. I don't know. I, you can miss it. I think people do. Don't. Before I get forced to flash away from Sound Matter Man, he is going to get caught out. Is gonna get stunned up oh, and is gonna yeah, go down here. Flash comper, so. Very unfortunate there. That's first death of the game. Had been doing very, very well. Still is. Just a little bit of unfortunate play there. Oh, just a little bit short on the chin taunt there. Kais is coming bot lane though. He has no vision. Oh, but he gets on top of the mountain. Nice. Double dash hits the tra bear trap on a rope. And Bone electing not to go in here. And yeah, boss walk cleaner is going to be sitting on this Rift Herald. Guess I'm just to keep getting some turrets. Put more gold in their pockets. Snowball the lead. Drinks and repeat for them. That's what they're going to do. It's, to me, it's looking like an over game. It looks like Red Team is just going to go too far. Oh, no. They have Kembo a couple of people here. that are too far behind it. Oh! oh nice. Uses the kept weight. Uh, That's a 1v2 double. Nice job. 
It was a great outplay by great Kembo. Great outplay from Kembo, using his ultimate and then using his flash to get the kill. Nice, tries to predict Wally in his dash, uses the ultimate, now they've got Shen to go in. Nice taunt saves here, but, oh, they might not be able to get the yeah, kill. Wally's going to flash out. Oh, nice. Is nice. That's just a snipe. Really good, actually. Something I want to point out here is the turret swapping, or turret aggro swapping between Fat Booty and Salamander Man. Salamander Man was tanking that entire time. And actually, now they're able to get two turrets here. Um, but we see Kled coming oh, into the mid lane now. Safe jump and run! Oh! Yeah, oh what did he do? That's right on a Fat what a Booty. Play. He has to flash the wall, but great play from Safe. Guess the double kill with the explosive charge. Are you kidding me? Right, he plays his entire life on the line for that. He gets right, a. I hope, I hope anyone that was a one auto two already, kills. Just TPs. Just, it's, it's, yeah, I guess Fat Booty thinks he's like so as or something. That was a uh, pretty good. I'm impressed. Safe being able to just recognize that. Yes, dude, guys, I can go in and I can just jump forward and kill these two people. It was a really great play right there. So we're going to see CDN pushing out the top wave. We have uh, Kembo pushing it in with the Kai'Sa, putting about the turret in top lane about halfway, maybe going about 25% health. Something to note here now, though, CDN, CDN is going to have his TP way before Fat Booty does. And actually, CDN is going to be able to take the turret here, so oh, no. really great job here. I, I think he'll be okay, yeah. He gets off fine. And really, I think UF Team 2 trying to match up what they can against Macro. They're, they're still getting gold in their pockets, and they're still very much in this game. The, the gold lead is a little bit unfortunate right now. It's well back up to 5k. However, you still have an Azir with two kills. Sure, he has three deaths, but he has two kills. He's scaling. You have a 3 2 Tristana scaling. Zoso right now is still looking for that second item. It's still a Jinx without that second item. I think he'll be okay here, actually. He's going to have so, his two Qs once he pops off, and he's still on, so he's yeah, still fine. so, I mean, at least I know if you're, if you're Wally, right? Or if you're Ooh. double O. And Kemba's going to go in. Oh. the Emperor's Divide there. Great job from Wally. Yeah, my, I actually really thought that was a good play by Wally. Very good patience there. Yeah, so, at least for, if, if I'm um, UF Team 2, I'm pretty revitalized now. You know, you had a pretty um, good early game, then you kind of faltered. But now after that play, you, you have faith in your AD carry. You're like, wait, safe? He can carry this game. We can, guys. We can play this. Like, we're able to win this. And it looks like the Windrake is gonna go over. Uh, no contest there. Um, all right. It looks like they're waiting for them to invade in the jungle. And it looks like Kembo's might get the drop on the. Oh, we actually didn't see him in the pit there. A little cove there for Rom or for Crux. Kembo solo bot. We see two on the bot side. No Wally could be going in on Kembo. Kembo's gonna be running away. Shen oh, immediately. That's really good. That gets that gets the. the That's a lot right. of map pressure just gone. Yeah. Right away. That booty no TP also looks like for another two and a half minutes. That ultimate should be a little bit longer than a minute right now. Yeah. CDN or two right minutes. now he can just either push mid or he can go bot match the Shen. And since he has TP and Shen's not gonna have TP for a while, and now he doesn't have ultimate, this is really good. And why is uh? Okay, I guess we're, okay. He's gonna have to use he's the burn ultimate. Burn his ult. Get out. Yeah. Uh, oh, Ninko so is old. super far. He's still yeah, fine. And now Azir has to go bot lane. This is not what you want when you want to rotate. When Baron's on the line here and you have all your ways pushing, you want your Azir to be there for the team fight. Now Azir has to go bot lane, kind of sit here. They need to send Remy down bot lane. He has DP. Let him do what he needs to do. I mean CDN, not Remy. Oh, yeah, sorry. So let let CDN go bot lane and put Wally um, in the mid lane or even in top lane for the team fight. Yeah, and, and right there, I think you just give that gold over to safe. Like, like you said, you really want to go bot lane, especially when... Great taunt. Oh, fat booty. The sun's up oh, on the safe, yeah. but there's Kembo. Yeah. That, that's just such a good engage. And that's going to be two down, and that's three, three down. Three. And that could be Baron pressure easily. That's Baron right there. They have all their ways pushing, so... Oh, it looks like they're actually going to try and just go for the in right now. There's only really two people to defend here, so... If Fat Booty's able to get the, yeah, I think they should just go straight Baron after this. Just, oh, oh so oh. so. Flash Having forward from Fortnite Kid, getting the slow, nice. but he's still stunned up. He should be going down here. I can't tell if that was a bait or not, but I feel heal, like it was. The heal from uh, Lobster Man there, super big, giving a huge amount of health. Heal wasn't even up on Zosa yet, so. Yeah, now they're able to, off that pick, they're able to get the in hit. 
Um, probably not going to be able to get the Baron now, only because everyone's respawned except me the jungler, so... Kembo in the bot side, still has TP, so he can just push out bot lane, and 1v1 anyway he goes there. He is 6-1 right now, so he, he's popping off. I didn't think he would be too good against Azir, but what roaming and everything... He oh, really big trade there. Oh, it looks like they are still going to go for the Baron here. It looks like Fat Booty Fat Booty is just going to stop. Not they they did immediately go off the Baron. Great team, um, team, team synergy here. Ooh, oh, Grammy needed to take that for save. Oh, and now CDN's going to come in here. He can't reverse the blood all. And he's like, guys, guys, uh, I'm kind of dead here, so... And everything's just starting to go yeah, the way UF has. Team 2 does not want this. Yeah, it looks like they've just had a complete communications break. Oh, nice. nice. Flashes the taunt. But, but General White oh, knocks him under, that. and that's a great play. Wally showing off why he does play a lot of his ear still. That booty trying to go for the flashy play, literally, and is a little bit punished for, for being a uh, It's, too it's still a free Baron, however. Yeah, free Baron, definitely. Unless they're able to just go in right now. They'd have to pull on to this Baron right now, but with the AD carry dead, the amount of damage that they do, it's just, it's kind of hard. So now that we see them with Baron, all the ways are pushing against UFT2, so it's going to be a little bit tough to see them, how they're going to have to deal with all the ways pushing. And now that they have Baron, they can just run out of the lanes, and they can catch all these huge waves and push out. 918, so, so I guess uh, this, this game's looking a little bit over, but uh, speaking about next game, what do we want to see from CDN? We've seen it's not over. I know, but maybe going a You shouldn't say it's over until it's over. But just in case, but I want to talk about CDN though, because I mean, we saw him on the swing and it seemed to be going well, but Kled it, has, it, has it's, not been going very well. For him. It, no, it, it's just a mentality thing. He, he's playing it very aggressively because um, I mean, he, he he's a great player, but um, he definitely excels more in the solo queue aspect of things. He's he's had similar struggles. I think it's just where the student has to tell him, look, and maybe we don't win this game, but if we go, if we have to go next, you know. Then we just settle down a little bit, take a lot fewer trades, play a little bit safer, and just make sure that we at least hit some of the mid-game fights that we want to hit. Yeah, I, I'm just, I'm really confused because both times, like when he played the Orn, he was like clapping the the enemy top laner, but um, but both times that he's played Clyde, he's played it a little bit too aggressively and has a lot of like a little bit of a, a faulty misstep here. We're seeing engage here from bot side. Oh. Oh, Sunday really man, the only one who's gone in Grammy's that kill is really, going to really keep him safe. Now, so. And Grammy's fine. You can jump out. Not a whole ton happens, though. Shen is taking top. Oh, yeah. right. So that's double in him now. So It's about to be triple. Yeah, they're gonna have to, I think they're just going to give it the oh, ball. Oh, it is there. triple in him. Uh, they got it going on Kembo. Kembo that's the right Kembo play. Kembo flashes. Flash. Flash. Grammy flashes. Uh, hold up. There's a lot of things. That, okay, so Kembo, looks like it's just going to be a cleanup from Kembo. Kaisa triple. Is that going to be Kaisa Penta? I hope not. I hope not. <laughs> They're gonna take out four. That is a quadra kill. kill. here, so they need to dive the. Yeah, they're gonna have to. Go I think Kembo's team. calling Kembo's for it. Probably calling everybody dive, or else I'm actually reporting you guys are never gonna get into challenge. No. Ends the game. Fat booty just straight cucking the uh, penta out of here. So really, really fast end of the game there. Actually, just 